Hello, my name is Jane Bastian, and today I will be presenting this um, presentation for my class CGS 3095 Spring 2023. Um, basically, it's on technology role and protecting IP and infringing on IP rights. This is a very brief um, synopsis of the entire presentation, um, showing some of the issue and ideas um, in the approach analysis used. Intellectual property rights encompass various forms of protection, including copyright, patent database, confidentiality, and trade secret rights. These rights um, grant um, creators and organizations a limited control over the use of their intellectual property for a specific period. However, if someone violates these rights, it is considered an intellectual infringement. Such infringements can include copyright, patent, or trademark infringement. Organizations and content creators are using technology to safeguard their intellectual property from theft or loss. Intellectual property rights, which is um, IPRs, promote the creation and distribution of new products and, service, and services based on inventions, designs, trademarks, and creative content from around the world. Technology plays a crucial role in protecting intellectual property rights through perimeters defense. Perimeters defense is a technological approach that prevents theft or intellectual property and um, unauthorized access to personal networks by hackers. Firewall technology serves as a gatekeeper for network perimeters by monitoring or packet assessing the network. It employs um, a stateful packet inspection to dynamically open and close ports for unauthorized connections, making it difficult for hackers to access the network and um, intellectual property. Email is a common way of distributing malware and getting access to intellectual property. Implementing a robust email threat protection solution, such as email filters, and um, abusive email intelligence can prevent email borne threats and spam from infecting the network perimeter. As we all know, websites can also deliver malware to a network um, when the user is um, tricked into visiting an um, infected site, making them vulnerable to unauthorized access. Uh, phishing sites also still credentials, and data for hacking activities. Therefore, web filter technologies play a crucial role in blocking access to suspicious um, websites and preventing users from coming into contact with um, malware. This also helps um, to protect intellectual property by keeping the network perimeter secure from cyber attacks. The ethical purpose of using technology um, is to protect um, intellectual property rights, IPRs, includes ensuring that all um, contributors to a project are rewarded and not denied their rights. Okay, um, technology pro um, protects um, how each member can claim intellectual property rights in a project that involves multiple contributors such as patent resulting from research um, conducted by a group of people. To protect intellectual property rights, technology provides methods such as encryption, which makes data unrecoverable and difficult for hackers to decrypt, even if stolen from a person or a firm server. Standard auditing technology also helps prevent intellectual property infringement by allowing a company or a person to monitor and track use on um, the use of their intellectual property. By doing so, they can also detect any unauthorized um, use and they can take um, appropriate legal action. Overall, technology plays a crucial role in protecting intellectual property rights by offering ways to secure monitor and track the use of intellectual property. 
Technology has revolutionized the field of auditing by providing modern tools such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. These tools can analyze a large amount of data faster than any typical security team and detect unauthorized activities in a person's network, triggering a security response. According to Lendo and Mishanava, this technology plays a significant role in protecting the intellectual property rights of various organizations and people all over the world. In summary, technology has enabled faster than um, faster and more efficient auditing and has helped to mitigate the risk associated with cyber attacks. This slide is um, about how male intelligence can protect intellectual property rights from theft or loss. One way it does this is by preventing email-borne malware from um, infecting a, a person or a company's network. This is important because email is one of the most um, common ways that malware is spread. Additionally, installing an anti-malware um, on, on a network endpoint can help detect and remove viruses that might have brought in by infected removable um, storage media. Mail intelligence can prevent X um, filtration of data that allows criminals to steal information from a network and sell it to unauthorized users. This is important because um, data exfiltration is a common um, tactic used by cyber criminals to steal sensitive information. To protect um, their intellectual property rights from infringement, um, many people use um, outbound firewalls that um, inspect outbound packets from any um, element of um, suspicious um, activity in the network. This um, technology is um, this technology can help um, detect and prevent unauthorized data transmission, ensuring that um, intellectual property rights are protected. Hackers can use um, sophisticated means to disguise um, data exfiltration, making it difficult for individuals or companies to um, protect their sensitive information and intellectual property. Air gap um, network technology is um, an essential tool in safeguarding against theft or loss of um, intellectual property. This technology provides a complete standalone entity isolated from other networks, which reduces the, the risk of infection. By using air gap networks, individual um, and companies can protect their sensitive information and intellectual property rights. Technological devices have made copying and transferring data faster, cheaper, and more private, which makes it harder to detect and prove. However, this ease of copying and sharing has led to the loss of rightful revenue for content owners. Social media platforms um, have also made it easier for people to post and share content they do not own without the owner's knowledge. This has made it more challenging to protect intellectual property as there are numerous um, websites and social media sites where content can be shared, um, making it difficult to determine who owns specific um, content or rights. In conclusion, intellectual property rights refer to the right granted to a person or organization to own their creations, including copyright, patent rights, database rights, confidentiality, and trade secret. This protection gives the owner exclusive rights over creative use for a certain period of time. Infringement of intellectual property refers to the violation of an individual or organization intellectual property rights. It is important to protect intellectual property as it is crucial for innovation and economic growth. And thank you for your time.